It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl, the second of two semifinal games as we get closer to the middle school championship round. Six elite players here today vying for the chance to take on Greenbelt for this year's championship in this our 30th year of Science Bowl. Let's meet today's teams. First from Martin Luther King Jr. Middle School, would you please say hello to Ryan Sokolovsky, Michael Stroud, and Christian Nieto. And from Walker Mill Middle School, here they are. Paris Smiley, Joseph Yambo, and Max Hernandez. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems. We'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing, and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty. Easier questions there on the left, five and 10 pointers. Tougher ones, 15, 20, and ultimately 25. Toughest question of them all. Our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds today, we will have a competitor for green belt as we head to that final championship game. Let's make sure everything works properly. Let's go to the red team. Mike, would you try your buzzer? Thank you, good luck to you and to Christian and to Ryan and Joseph, give it a push if you would. Thank you very much. Good luck to you, to Paris and Max. So good to have you here. Congratulations. Very few teams make it this far in our competition. Walker Mill and Martin Luther King, both previous county champs. I know you'd both like to repeat again. Put another notch on the belt if you would. Good luck. Let's have a great game. We go alphabetically M before W. So Michael, let's start that game. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams at the National Building Museum last summer, they recreated a beach. And instead of water, they had a million of these balls that light couldn't. Yes, Walker Mill. Beach balls. Beach balls. Beach balls? Not beach balls. Martin Luther King, these balls that represented the water that people jumped into didn't let pass light pass through completely or block it completely. So they weren't transparent or opaque. They were what? Tran translucent. They were translucent, that's right. And you, I like your enthusiasm, but you didn't have to push that buzzer there that time. All right, red team, go. Um, Dateline signs for 15. Dateline signs for 15 points. Teams, in President Obama's recent State of the Union address, he said that our new war on cancer, being led by Vice President Biden, will be akin to what we as a nation tried to do, Martin Luther King. With terrorism? Not terrorism, no, Walker Mill. The president's call to have a war on cancer, he likened to what John F. Kennedy did back in 1961 when he committed the nation to do what? Uh, get rid of polio? No, to make it to the moon. Make it to the moon before the decade is out. Try again, red. Um, let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, off the coast of Japan is a warm current called the Kuroshio Current that makes the southern portion of Japan almost tropical but also the atmosphere down there is very turbulent, causing what kind of severe? Martin Luther King. Um, hurricanes. Not hurricanes, good try, Walker Mill. What kind of severe cyclonic storms can develop in the southern Japanese region akin to hurricanes in the Atlantic? Typhoon. Typhoon, that's it. Sorry about that, Mike gave you an assist. Go Walker Mill, good uh, answer. Zuparade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points is a visual question. If you look at the monitors, if you would please, teams. Rather disgusting picture. This cricket has been parasitized by a horsehair worm 
that literally took over that insect and told its brain that I want you to jump into the water, something a cricket would never do, in order to help the worm reproduce. By taking over its brain, it became uh, Walker Mill. A zombie. A zombie. It has been zombified. Absolutely right. Green. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Pine beetles that are now killing pine trees across America do so by clogging up this body system in trees. Martin Luther King. The um, stem, the, the roots. <laughs> not quite, not quite. What body system in trees is being clogged up by a fungus as a result of attack by these pine beetles? The trunk. No, the circulatory system. It's clogging up the circulatory system. We also would have accepted xylem and phloem. If you had expanded a bit more on uh, stem there, Mike, we could have given that to you. All right, 65 to 80 advantage, still green. A science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points is a visual question. Again, if you could look at the monitor, you're looking at part of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. I do not want to be that man up there. But he is up there because so much wind blows through the Eiffel Tower that he is putting these T initial devices. Martin Luther King. Gentlemen. Nothing there. Walker Mill, this worker on the Eiffel Tower is putting these T initial devices in the tower to take care, to take advantage of all that wind which can generate tens of thousands of kilowatt hours of power a year. Turbines. Turbines, that's it, good, green. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points, teams. If your doctor tells you that your intraocular pressure is too high, what body parts are in danger, King? Your eyes. Your eyes, yes, possibly causing glaucoma. Good. Red. Um, science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, substances like glucose and glycogen and urea are known as cryoprotectants because they protect your... Martin Luther King. What your, you got? Your, um, your nerves. Not your nerves. Cryoprotectants like urea and glucose and glycogen protect your cells from doing what? Reproducing. Not reproducing, freezing. Cryo is a prefix that means freezing. No points, try again, red. 80 to 100, 20 points down on the king's side. Um, zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points. Teams, while water buffaloes are used as beasts of burden in Asia because they are rather easily tamed, the Cape Buffalo in Africa is one of the most dangerous animals and cannot be what? Martin Luther King? Tamed. Domesticated. Domesticated. Domesticated, yes, that's the word I need. All right. Ooh, quick round. Good round. Our score at this juncture, Martin Luther King 95, Walker Mill 100. We will be back, back with the second round of this exciting semifinal match in one moment. Don't go away. Simple moments are what make every day count. And welcome back to Science Bowl. One of these two teams is going on in our competition to vie for the championship, but nobody leaves empty handed. That's because all of our semifinalists will be Taking home an Audubon field guide and their choice of topics, we have weather and rocks and minerals and birds and mammals and reptiles, whatever suits their fancy, as a way of thanking them and rewarding them for making it this far in our competition. And the winning school in the championship will be taking home a plaque for their school and individual plaques for themselves 
for their alternates and for their coach. Let's get back to our game here, but before we ask any more questions, a few introductions. If you've not met these young men and women before, you have missed out. Let's give you a chance right now, and let's go to Martin Luther King. And Michael, tell us the Martin Luther King story. Uh, Ms. Wilteson, still the principal there, yeah. longtime great principal, sponsor of your team. Oh, Miss Butler. Miss Butler. And Elizabeth, thank you for all that you have done over the years. You have been with us as a stalwart sponsor for so many years, and uh, you always send us great students here. And Mike, any alternates on your team? Yeah, we have Rahel and Kevin. And they'll be out in just a few moments. And as Mike was saying, it is Rahel and not Rachel. So we want to make sure we get the spelling and pronunciation correct. Best thing about King? Best thing? It would have to be the fact that Martin Luther King offers students so many opportunities to do fun things and to succeed. Like, they offer a lot of programs like our um, Destination Imagination program, our yeah. Colors program. We have our band program, which is really well run. Yeah. We, have, we have like our math and science and reading, our scores for testing, and our teachers are really great. Wow. And the teachers are just really great there. That's amazing. And the teachers are, are lucky to have great students like you, too, that uh, take that instruction and uh, takes the learning seriously as you do. Nicely said, Mike. Tell us about yourself. Uh, you are all-around sports guy. Baseball, basketball, disc hockey, all kinds of things. You have a favorite among them? Baseball. Baseball. You want to be a professional baseball player, right? Yeah. yeah. But if that doesn't work out, I think I want to be um, a science that works with um, NASA, yeah. a scientist that works with NASA, and I yeah. especially like physics. Well, you got a home field advantage because NASA is right here in Prince George's County. Yeah, I know you'll be successful, whatever you want to try there, Mike. Good to have you back. And Christian, nice to have you here, a young man who wants to be a child psychiatrist perhaps, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you know there are a lot of kids who have problems. And if you address those early and do some counseling, you can make a world of difference. I think that's a great ambition. What do you do in your spare time? Well, I draw, I read, um, and I make metal models of certain pieces of architecture around the world. Wow. Like what? Any that we would know? Like the St. Basil's Cathedral in oh, Russia. Moscow, yeah. With those onion tops on and all that stuff. That's amazing. So you're a very creative guy, too. And you're a good science student. Always good to have you back. And Ryan, nice to have you here. Tell us about your... Uh, your plans, because you have some really good ones. Yeah, I want to go to college. Um, I don't know where, but I'll find out. Um, I want to hopefully major in engineering and minor in music. Yeah. I like both of those a lot. Um, I hope to be maybe a filmmaker or a music engineer. Yeah. So, You're all creative guys over there, and uh, you play this game so well, and uh, uh, we're, glad that we're glad you're here in the semifinals. Walker Mill. Nice to have you guys back too. Joseph, tell us the Walker Mill story. Who's your principal? Our principal is Dr. Nicole Clifton. Absolutely. She's out there rooting for you, I know. Yeah. And the sponsor of your team? Uh, Ms. Barrientos. Yes, indeed. She used to be with another school, and now yeah. you're lucky enough to have her. And uh, she is laser light. Mm -hmm. And Rogasian, thank you for all that you have done as well for us. And Joseph, any alternates on your team? Yes, we have uh, Chi Chi, we have Taylor, then we have Wendy. All right, so a shadow team out there. Yeah. They'll be here in a few moments, and they also get to take home those books that we were sharing earlier. Best thing about Walker Mill? I like how. The teachers and the students work as one unit. We understand each other on deeper levels. We understand how things go, like how we work together. It's just, it's just a great experience. Well, I love how you say that too. You know, you're so well spoken, and yeah, if you're all together in the mission, you can't help but succeed. That's the way it works. Uh, Max, nice to have you here, a young man who's interested in forensic anthropology. Big yeah. fan of the Bones TV show. Yeah? yeah, you can see yourself following in the heroine's footsteps there. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what do you do in your spare time? Um, I longboard and I skate. Yeah, yeah. Why'd you want to be on this show? Um, I just think it's really cool, um, portraying yourself as this like cool person. You know, I'm like a regular kid at school. Yeah. Like when I come up here, you know, I feel like, like I can um be inspiring to other kids. And you are, you are, because a lot of folks want to be on this program, and not just the kids, but parents, young adult people out there are saying, boy, how does he and how do all of you know so much? You're very inspirational. You're great advertisements for, uh, for youth and for Prince George's students, so uh, thank you for that. 
Paris. Nice to have you here with us today. Young lady who's very stylish and uh, oh, wants to. You. You're welcome. You like to. You want to design things, room someday? Yeah. Um, well, it's one of my hobbies. It's one of my pastimes. Yeah. Um, I spend a lot of time making floor plans as well as designing the interior for them. So. Yeah. And politics also draws you. Oh yes, politics definitely. Um, so for a couple of months now, I've hold I've held a position at the Maryland House of Delegates. Yeah. Um, I'm working closely with District 25's delegate, Delegate Angela Angel. Yeah. Um, and so that has been definitely a rewarding exper uh, experience in terms of teaching me a lot of different things about politics. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine you would be very good with constituent services because you know you've got to take care of the voters and you seem like definitely. a very approachable young lady. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's get back to our game. 100 for Walker Mills, 95 for Martin Luther King. It's game time. Last correct answer came from the red team. Lots of high valued questions left. Michael, start us out, please. Let's get physical for 10. Get physical for 10 points. Teams, when this point drops below 32 degrees, water vapor. Yeah, Martin Luther King. The temperature. Not the temperature. When this point drops below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, any water vapor in the air can go directly from gas to solid ice crystals. Sublimation. Dew point. The dew point when it drops below. No points. Try again, red. Um. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, they recently opened Shakespeare's grave in England. This bone was missing, which was kind of ironic because in Hamlet, ha yes, Walker Mill? Skeleton, um, the, the cranium. The cranium or the skull, absolutely right. As he hold, held Yorick's skull in his hand. Good answer. They don't know where that skull went. Green, go. Uh, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. If a, it's a multiple choice question, if a wildflower flowers, blossoms in the spring, or if it blossoms in the summer or the fall, is that because of phototropism, photorespiration, or photoperiodism? Which of those three, Joseph? Photoperiodism. Photoperiodism, yeah, the length of the day is the trigger. Good, go. Uh, Dayline signs for 25. Dayline for 25, big one in that category. Teams, if you look at the class picture of the graduates of the City College of New York in 1934, there in the front row is the man who would go on to devise the first vaccine for polio. Martin Luther King, who was he? Jonas Salk. You got that right, 25 points. Indeed, go. Um, Dateline science for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, gravitational waves what, that we just recently discovered proved that Einstein's theory of what was right. Relativity. Martin Luther King? Relativity. Relativity, yeah. He forecast that and only now are we getting confirmation. 130, 130, we have a tie game. Red go. Science potpourri for 10. Pope Brie for 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Someone who has sickle cell anemia has a tough time finding a doctor when they get to be an adult because most sickle cell is treated by these kinds of doctors. Martin Luther King. Pediatricians. Pediatricians, yeah, from when you're born up until age 18. A lot of people don't survive into adulthood, so a lot of people don't specialize. Sad to say. Go again, red. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams. This familiar crops silk is actually the stylus, the style, and the stigma of that plant. The silk of the corn, the silk of the corn. You know, when you shuck a corn, you know, and all that silk comes off, that says actually the female reproductive parts. No points go again, red. Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, uh, I guess it was a little uncomfortable when President Obama went to Cuba because that very day, this federal agency said that the Zika virus had broken out in Cuba. What is that agency, Walker Mill? The CDC. CDC, the Centers for Disease Control is correct. Go. Uh, Zupre for 20. Zupre, 20 points. Question is as follows. DFTD is a facial tumor disease that is afflicting this largest carnivorous marsupial. Martin Luther King. Um, Gorilla? Not the gorilla. The largest carnivorous marsupial is being afflicted with this DFTD disease, which stands for facial tumors. Uh, kangaroos? Devils. Tasmanian uh -huh. devils. Yes, a rare form of cancer that is contagious. All right. 
Go again, please. Green. You have uh, a 10 point advantage, Joseph. Let's get physical for 25. Get physical for 25 points. Teams, teachers are fond of doing a demonstration where they make elephant toothpaste, where they mix things together and bubbles go everywhere. You mix together potassium iodide, water, and H2O2. Martin Luther King? Hydrogen peroxide. That's what I want to hear. Good. Red. Um, let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, the ice on Pluto is like silly putty because it is denser than the ice on Earth, which is made of water. It's made hmm. of methane. Not of methane. Good try. The ice on Pluto is made of this gas that is the most abundant on nitrogen, Earth. Nitrogen. 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 That's what I want to hear. Yes, good. Go. Zupra for 25. Zupra 25. Big one in that category. Teams, Charles Darwin said, that the fiercest fights between males in the animal kingdom takes place in populations of animals where there are multiple mates. For 25 points, what do we call that, King? Polygamy. You got that right. Polygamy. Thank you, Christian. You really helped out on that one. Go red. Um, body system for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, your question is as follows. When Katy Perry sings Eye of the Tiger, the first thing she says that I bite my what? Martin Luther King? Tongue. I bite my tongue and I hold my breath. Exactly right. Good. Red. Science potpourri, or Dateline Science for five, actually. Dateline Science for five points. Teams, the Eagles known as the President and the First Lady, yes, we all watched as they gave birth, as those eggs hatched. In fact, the first Chick hatched exactly 35 days after this process started. What process? Uh, incubation. 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 Good answer. Yeah, go. Uh, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, recently a 3D printer using ink with human cells was able to produce this kind of tissue that helped people that have damaged noses and ears and knees. Car car cartilage. Cartilage. You got that from both sides. You, they were absolutely right. Ryan and Christian. Book ended. Good. Go. Part cartilage it is. Science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams back in 1970, the Russians landed a spacecraft on this planet, and within 110 minutes, because of the high heat and pressure, it melted, King. Venus. Yeah. That's why we're not going to Venus. It's too hot. Go red. Zoop parade for five. Zoop parade for five points. Teams, other than the Eagles, we celebrated here in Washington the return of a bird we had not seen in years. It was almost, Michael? The Oriole? Not the Oriole, Walker Mill. It was almost as if Baltimore's NFL team decamped to the nation's capital. Ravens. Ravens came back. Yeah, good, go. Green things for 25. Green things 25, big one in that category. Teams, the natural, I need three, there'll be three answers here. Listen carefully. The natural boundary of a forest beyond which not a single extra tree can grow is determined by a number of environmental factors. Could you give me three that stops a forest in its tracks? Not a single tree can go beyond that boundary. Talk among yourselves, walk around in case I have to come to you. Michael, Christian, Ryan, give me three things. Judges, listen carefully, please. The amount of water in the envir environment, the, the, the temperature of the environment, and the, um, Human interference. Mm, no, we're talking about natural barriers here, natural barriers. Walker Mill, yeah. can you give me three environmental factors that stop a forest dead in its tracks? It defines the natural barrier or boundary. The humidity, the temperature, and the animals? Uh, no, no. We're, we're looking at uh, temperature you got, water, light, also the kind of soil that is present there, and the wind. So all of those would have been acceptable. You came close. No points. 220, 165 is where we still stand. Advantage red. Um, zoo parade for five. Zoo, zoo parade for five points was the Ravens, correct? So that one is gone, correct? Oh. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Okay, that one's gone. That one should be turned out. Sorry about that. So what do we have left? We have uh, green things for five, and then we have the 225 pointers. Is that correct, judges? Yes. All right, Michael, where, where to? Green things for five. Green things for five points. Two part question. Teams, these insects are known as the angels of agriculture for what reason? Name the insect and what they do 
that makes them known as the Angels of Agriculture. Walker Mills. Bees because they pollinate. You got that right. Thank you, Max. Nice answer. Good assist. Go. Body Joseph. system for 25. Again, please. B body systems for 25. Body systems for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, you might have seen this on the news. A dog by the name of Jedi saved nine-year-old Luke's life by noticing even before the instruments that Luke had hype. Walker Mill. Cancer. Nope. Martin Luther King, the dog, Jedi, noticed that nine-year-old Luke even before the instrument detected it, was suffering from hypoglycemia, which means Luke had what? Diabetes? More information. Type, type two diabetes? No, he had low blood sugar, hypoglycemia. Diabetes was correct, but we needed a definition of those words. One question left. This is science potpourri for 25 points. Teams, the question is as follows. The orbit of the moon around Earth is in the shape of an ellipse, whereas the orbit of comets is in this curved shape with a flat end that begins with the letter P. Martin Luther King. Um, pentacle? No, pen pentacle. Pentacle? Not a pentacle. pentacle. What is a curved shape that begins with the letter P that defines the orbit of many comets? What you think, guys? Pinnacle. A parabola. It's a parabola. Good try. We have come to the end of our second final game, and it looks like Martin Luther King has prevailed. They will be going on to play Greenbelt. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't go away. If you're like most families, you probably have video game fans in your home. But not every game is right for every kid, which is where the ESRB ratings come in. They help parents make informed decisions for their kids. And there's an easy-to-use mobile app that gives you detailed info on specific game ratings. Video game consoles have parental controls that you can set to block certain games by age rating. So they get all the fun, and you get peace of mind. I tell people I have three kids. One of them's adopted. I just don't know which one. I can't imagine having to be in a birth mother's position to make that choice. You know, I was kind of just asking her, you know, what is your motivation? Why are you doing this? And she looked at me and she said, because you can give my son a life that, that I could not. We always tell her, thank you. He is such a blessing to us. Every day is just a ray of sunshine from him. So we're Chanda and Brian, and we chose adoption. Welcome back to Science Well, Thank you for spending part of your day with us. I know you probably enjoyed this game at home as much as we did here in the studio because we had six elite players here today. We are proud of all of them. They are all champions. They didn't make it the semi to the semifinals for nothing. Our congratulations today to everybody. Our final tally is Walker Mill 170, Martin Luther King Jr. 220. So Michael and Christian and Ryan, congratulations. Let's give them a hand. Ms. Barrientos, Ms. excuse me, Ms. Butler, congratulations to you, Elizabeth, always for everything you do here. And also we have two alternates there, Kevin and Rahel. We're going to see you against Greenbelt for the championship. Walker Mill, you gave it the good try. I'm going to miss having you guys here. There are no students this year that have had, who have been better spoken than you. And we're just, we, we loved having you here. Max and Joseph and Paris and the, the shadow team back there, Chi Chi and Taylor and Wendy. Dr. Clifton is here, the school principal. Thank you for being with us today. And uh, Ms. Barrientos, uh, this is your second school where you've made a mark on Science Bowl. You're just the best. Thanks, Regacion, for everything you do. And thank you for watching. We'll see you. It's going to be Greenbelt versus Martin Luther King in the final. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.